Girl, it's another skills Friday. And today we're gonna come and we're gonna talk about how to tackle somebody bigger than you in the open field. This is really for one-on-one -on -one tackling. A lot of D-backs need to see this. A lot of linebackers need to see this. Outside linebackers can see it in the open field. Defensive tackles, maybe not as much, but you can definitely still watch the videos, take some pointers, definitely for my defensive players all around. Shout out to y'all, man. And first and foremost, we need to understand how frequent this really happens, especially as a D-back and outside linebacker, man. Like, you're always going to be in the open field scenario. Like, open field tackling is the wave of the future. This is the game now. Like, whereas 20, 30 years ago, you teams was turning around handing the ball off the whole game. Now, you see guys running screen passes. You see guys running tosses, reverses, speed, jet sweeps. Like all this stuff, and you gotta be able to tackle in the open field. If you can tackle in the open field, you can play anywhere, play at any time. Every coach is gonna want you to play on the field. So you have to understand how frequent this happens, and if you understand how to get this skill down, you will be playing on the field. You won't be a liability out there. People will be looking at you like, yo, he's a dog out there. Shout out to bro. And next, we gotta understand how to approach the tackle. Like, I see a lot of people like teaching a lot of different things on tackling and especially with now that the game's changing like oh you want to make sure that you're not you want to take some ankles out and it's like nah you don't want to attack the ankles make sure you're attacking is that tackling zone shoulders down to the thighs man that is the tackling zone you ain't ta you ain't stopping no tackle with grabbing a dude's helmet you ain't stopping no tackle grabbing a dude's foot like unless you're in a scenario where you're chasing down the only thing you grab is a foot you don't want to grab a foot so this is where we have to understand where to hit and how to approach the tackle i did a video yesterday on understanding how to initiate in the contact and to initiate the tackle you want to do it in the correct time frame and you want to also do it at the right time like if, especially with these bigger dudes if you're initiating contact way too early these dudes is going to stiff you, man. If you're initiating contact way too early, these dudes is going to run you over. And you have to understand that because you're at a standstill. If you get there a little too early, you want to get all the way to them. And once you're within that last step or within the step of him, you want to bring that contact. You want to dip your shoulder. You want to make sure your hit, head's on the opposite side of your shoulder. You're hitting with that same shoulder and you're leading with that same leg. You want to bring it. Bring it all together. And look. Look, man, finishing the tackle is everything. You got to wrap these dudes up and bring them to the ground. Like, as you can see here, Jonathan Abram, he plays for the Ra Raiders now. Look how he comes downhill. He's not playing with his quarterback. His quarterback throws this pass to his tight end, man, or this running back, whatever he is. Dude comes downhill. He hits a little lower than I expect him to. He, can try to, he, he went for the knees. But he wasn't playing when he came downhill with the dude. The dude was like, oh, man, dude thought it was an easy lick. He thought he was about to go head up with him. And that's what these big dudes want. They want you to go head up with them sometimes because they're like, oh, I'm going to run you over. But if you bring it and you got a head start, they're not going to run you over unless they're just some type of behemoth that should not be playing on you, the level you're playing. So next person we're going to look at, P. Paris Ford, <laughs> P. Diddy, man. Shout out to him. And once again, he's at safety. He sees his quarterback on a quarterback sneak. And he's not playing with him. He's one-on-one -on -one with him, one-on-one -on -one tackling situ situation. He sees him breaks outside, and he's like, dog, I'm bringing this dude down. Good tackle zone tackle. Would have preferred his helmet on the right side, but, you know, muscle dance and all that. He's, he's bringing it. And that's how you got to come downhill and bring it to these dudes, man. You can't come down tiptoeing. You can't come down jogging. If you come downhill jogging, you deserve to get trucked, bro. Like, straight up. Like, you should never go downhill to a tackle jogging like jogging standing still sometimes is tough but because it's like you don't want to miss the tackle but if you are at a standstill i promise you i literally seen a kid get trucked a couple weeks ago man like literally like just like that like he got trucked dude was running the ball on the sideline he literally waited for him to bring him down the dude just dipped his shoulder ran over him and kept it running he ran 40 yards down the field I, was, I felt so bad for the kid everybody was laughing at him but it's like he he can't stop in that scenario at that point he got to run full speed at him hit him somewhere in the tackling zone especially low because he was a bigger dude so i probably go at his thigh go at his thigh 
and wrap up and bring the dude down to the ground. Same thing here. Look at Paris Ford, man. Does the same thing. Shout out to P. Diddy, man. Comes down. He sees the running back has the ball. Once the running back cuts, I'm going to pause it right here. It's him and the running back. That's it. And 53 yards of space. Him and the running back. That's it. The position he's in, it looked like he stopped, but he's not. He's trying to get into the correct stance to take this dude down. Now, people don't understand that there's so much space here. And sometimes they're like, oh, well, you want to. You want to go and head up. Sometimes you want to go and head up, but in the open field's tackling situation, you want to make sure he can't go anywhere else. So he kind of shades on the outside of him, so this dude cannot cut outside of him. And once he has that correct angle, look how he takes him down. Goes a little lower than I want him to, but he takes the guy down. Thigh tackle, takes the guy down. His teammates is there, doesn't really wrap up, but you want to wrap up. You want to make sure you're wrapping these dudes up, bring them down to the ground, because that's how you finish the tackle. That's how, when you get up off the tackle, and the announcer's like, whatever your name is, made the tackle. And that's and that's the thing. You got to make sure you're out here making the most out of your plays, making the best plays as possible, standing on the field, being the best player that you could be, man. Find that goat within yourself, and you got to prove it. You got to prove it day in and day out. Take it day in and day out. Play in and play out. Peace. Check this video out on the screen if you want to be mean on that green or real on that field or extort on that court. The No Bottle Left Behind Act supports this video. You feel me?